Hello and welcome to another episode of Game On. I'm Slash Raptor, and this is Pokemon Gaia version 3.1. In the last episode, our Shinx evolved into a Luxio, and we caught a bunch of Pokemon before that. And we're making our way over to Eris City to find Herschel, who I still think is going to be involved in the Elite Four in some way, shape, or form, but that is just a theory. Um, so we're on our way to Eris City, like I mentioned earlier, and we're going to go this way. Ah, why is it always the last tile? Starly! Quinn can use Confusion on that. Yay, see, she's got 35 experience for that. So slow. So Blaze is actually not going to level up till level 35, so... That's, that's what's happening. But Dwayne, on the other hand, can be put out front and level up. Is this little guy going to battle us? The art about Art Master Vincent and his apprentices, they all train Smeargle, which they raised two stupid moves. No, I didn't hear about that, but I have battled them in the previous file. Do you battle? This bridge is pretty rickety, but I ain't scared. I never said you were. Because it is a bridge, you can't fall off. Well, you could in real life, but it's not real life. It's a game, and there's no way to fall off it in the game. The dog needs a haircut. Let's try giving... Let's try cutting its hair with headbutt. And that doesn't really make any sense because it's not sharp, but... Maybe if we, you know, hit it at just the right angle, it'll work. Nope. Well, it's unconscious. And it still has long hair. But doing grew to level 14, so I don't really care. Try to learn Rock Blast. Absolutely. Um, what are we going to get rid of? do 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 do, -do. Sand attack. A Talo! This is perfect. Let's Rock Blast the Talo. Rock Blast! Rock Blast! Rock Blast! Rock Blast! Rock Blast! That's the words Rock Blast to the, to the tune of uh, Don't Stand. Don't Stand so... Don't stand so close to me. You could also do Rock Blast! That's where it's at! Rock Blast! Baby Rock Blast! Instead of Love Shack. Good day, child. Would you indulge me in a Pokemon battle for a chance? Pip Pip Chetty, oh jolly good show, my good friend. Ooh, a Chatot. This will be excellent target practice for when I can crush the one in Nespine City. I think it's Nespine City. That one with its stupid chatter. We'll see how tough it thinks it is when we sh when we send out our electric type against it. Oh, good job, Dwayne. Okay, Dwayne's level 15. Why are Chat Hots worth so much experience? They're just these tiny little parrots. But I came like a whole level and a half, and, and, and a quarter, or maybe a third, just from that one encounter. Alright, it is Maggie's turn in the spotlight. And we'll get this item, which is Taunt. So that's where he moved it to. An next attack. Nobody uses those. Is this his house? Oh. No. Where is that guy? There's somebody here that sells you the amulet coin, doesn't he? Well, I'm almost there. You need 5,000 for it. And I know for a fact that these artists don't give you diddly squat. Ah, the new elders are over here, that's right. But where's the Pokemon Center? What do you want? I can see Sabulo Island from here. You can get there by surfing east from here, or taking the SS Wake. Huh. Well, I guess you have to do that, because when you first get surf, or when you first have to go to Sabulo Island, you probably don't know how to surf yet. I'm really excited about the late game in here, because I was having so much fun with Gaia, and then it just ended. It was very, very sad. 
You know what? I want cheese. Give me one second. I'm gonna get a piece of cheese. Playing games is making me very snack worthy. Luckily, my fridge is like right here, so. Don't you hate it when you can't get your cheese to come out of its plastic? Um, and I'll go up to here. Yeah, that's a nice, sizable piece of cheese. Lovely. Alright. You know, when I think about it, that's actually kind of a fun word. Cheese. 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 Now I kind of want to name a Pokemon cheese. But it should be something that's not yellow or something that's related to cheese or, you know, in, in any way, shape, or form. I should, just, I should just nickname it Cheese just because it's, it's weird and doesn't make any sense. Some of my nicknames are like that, but some of them actually have a lot of thought put into them. Alright, so, um, because I'm sort of frustrated with what's-her-name, I don't really think we're gonna need, uh, well, maybe we should keep her, because if we can get her up to 16, then she'll evolve. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep her for now. And we have Peter and Slurps. <laughs> Peter and Slurps. Sounds like a cartoon. Okay. So, everyone's healed. So let's go see. Let's go talk to the new elder dude, I guess. Or maybe what I should be doing is making sure that you can actually still get that item. This is the bike shop, I think. Yeah. I don't remember if you have to get one or if. Somebody gives it to you. Is this... What's this guy? A name raider? Okay. And then... You know what? It's bugging me. I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna change the spelling of Dwayne's name. I'm not changing his nickname, per se. I'm just gonna rename him Dwayne, because I don't like the way this, spell, this is spelled. The way that the font looks, it almost looks like there's a W in there anyway. So, let's just rename him to the, to the original Dwayne, because it's still not really the same thing if it's used on a different Pokemon. Dwayne. There, I like that spelling a lot better. It's a better net it's a better name than before. It's actually the same name as before, but it's spelled differently. Okay, so is this the guy that gives you the amulet coin? You look like a learned executive to me. I've got the deal of the century, kid, for the low, low price of 5,000. Yeah, so I don't have enough yet, but I will come back and get that. Because it is really helpful. All right, so now let's go down here, and we're gonna go talk to the uh, New Elders people over here. The Eris Museum is, um, have an exhibit. Yeah, you don't believe me? Ah, you're a belligerent child. I'll make you pay. <clears throat> Still using the same Team Plasma um, animation, though. Um, quick attack. Go, Maggie! It's a standoff! Bird versus bird! Maggie, why don't you learn Peck? You, you, you're a bird. You have a beak. Ooh, that was worth a lot of experience. But I'm not going to change. This next one I'll probably be able to take out easier. Gust. Oh crap! That's a critical hit. Mm. Gust. Damn it, Maggie! I will avenge you with Tector.
Oh, that's right, you don't have your ground typing yet, but I can still cut you. I love the new cut. It's amazing. I can actually rely on it now. Oh man, this isn't good. Well, it's good for me. I got almost a thousand dollars there. Oh man, this is bad. I've got to tell the boss. Okay, so well, let's go over here and we'll bring back Maggie because she needs herself some revenge, which is a dish best served cold. Wait, would it would would she be? Avenging herself? Can she, is it possible to avenge yourself? Or does someone else have to avenge you? I think maybe Tort, um, Tortector avenge her. But then I think Maggie can now still get revenge on the rest of them. Nobody can go upstairs. Important business is going on. Don't look at me like that. A hoot hoot. Another bird showdown. I think maybe what we should do is switch to Dwayne. And we will use Rock Blast. And that way Maggie will still get some of the experience. Which is not very much, actually. No, I'm not gonna change. I'll just have Dwayne um, do something like Headbutt. Ha! Ineffective! Foolish not to. Mwah! That all you can do! This is how you attack! Ooh. And we'll finish it with a tackle attack. Awesome. Good job, Dwayne. Fine, go upstairs. Okay. How did you get up here? I walked up the stairs. Rog and roll it. Why do you keep sending out things that I can't use Maggie against? Um, let's just try fighting with Gust. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Okay, then Maggie, you can come back, and we'll bring in Tector, because he can absorb it. Now I kind of want to name, rename Tector Shamwow, because he sucks up stuff. Although he's not made in Germany, so I, can't, I don't know if I'd be able to do that. I think this is the first time I've ever renamed someone in, an, uh, in a playthrough, but technically I didn't change his name. I might actually rename Tector though because I'm not liking that name anymore. It's kind of dumb. Not some of my best in the in terms of renaming. Why won't this thing die? I used Absorb on it like three times. There, thank you. Tector's gonna level up. That'll be cool. And Maggie should as well. There goes Maggie and Tector. Alright, I only asked. Yeah, and I told you. Alright, you know what? Let's just do it now while I still have it in my mind. Because it's just gonna bother me until I do it. Tector's a stupid name. Hector is actually a name. Tector doesn't just sound like a name. It sounds like. It reminds me of the Digivices from Frontier. The Detectors. That's what it makes me think of every time. So, let's name you the same thing that I've named all of my other, um, Turtwigs. I was trying to do something different, but it didn't really work out. So let's change its nickname. This is gonna be a first... It's also the... It's, it's 
when I changed when I when I rechanged the spelling of Dwayne's name, it was the first time I visited the Name Raider in a playthrough. This is going to be the first time I've actually renamed someone entirely. I'm going to nickname it Twiggle because it's cute. There. I'm not sure if I'm the first person to come up with that, but don't care. And because we're here, we might as well stop at the Pokemon Center before we head back up there. So, now the question becomes, who do we want to lead with? I kind of want to lead with um, Twiggle because he'll evolve at 16, so maybe we'll do that. Maggie will, will evolve at 18, Quinn will evolve at 16, Simba's already evolved, and Dwayne I think will evolve at 25, and then Blaze will evolve at 35. Yeah, he's not, he's not on the sheet um, for the evolutions, which means that it hasn't been changed. If nothing was changed, then there's no point having it be on that chart. So he still evolves at 35. Do you know who you're dealing with? We're the new elders! Well, now I do, but I didn't before. Thank you for telling me that now I lay able to sleep at night. An Omanite. Oh, this is perfect for you, Dwayne. You're not Dwayne. I don't know why I'm calling you Dwayne. Razor Leaf! Don't you bite me! Take this! Oh! Beautiful! Yeah, no, you lost because I have a type advantage against you. One more battle, buddy, and you're gonna level up. And that is our main priority. Your help would be invaluable. I've already given you my answer. It would not be prudent to ask again. Herschel, I feel I have not explained myself properly. See there, that, I, th is, I think that's the same lady that takes your book. It's clear I won't be persuading you anytime soon. Thank you for your time. We're finished here. Oh, good day, child. I presume you saw that. If you're curious, those people were ridiculous fanatics. I want no involvement with them. I hope you don't mind me asking, but is that a Redwood card you have on your jacket? It is. Wow, how extraordinary. Charles, um, Professor Redwood, is a great friend of mine. What's that? He sent you here to find me. Arkin Tunnel, the old language. How intriguing. I would love to help. Very well, I'll wait for you at the exit to city. We can go together. She'll see you there. And possibly at the Pokemon Center? Maybe? Per maybe haps? It's gonna be so cool if I'm proven right, because it's just a random theory that I don't have any... That it has nothing supporting it, it just... I have a feeling. Because if this, is, if this was made by a real Pokemon fan, which it seems like it is, because it's got so much polish, Except for the you glitches here and there, but that's to be expected when you're not working with a team. I feel like he would try and keep the story elements similar to things we've seen in Pokemon games before. And having mysterious people show up and then become important later is a very common thing, like with Steven Stone, Cynthia, Alder, Lance in, in Generation 2. So, I don't know, it just... I have a feeling. So, I guess we should go in the museum now, because we do want to get that last little bit of experience for, um, for Twiggle, so. Painter Melissa sent out Smeargle! Okay, cool. So, let's Razor Leaf it. Dragon-type moves. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Smeargles. How did your attack miss? It's right there! Just hit it! Come on, Dwiggle! Give me a good hit! Take it down! Nice. Now you're gonna- now you're gonna evolve. No, wait, you evolve at 18, don't you? Maybe I'm wrong. 
Yeah, you do. I forgot. Oh well. Never mind. Okay, so then in that case, we will, um... Hmm, what am I going to do then? I guess we should try and level up Quinn a little bit. But it's hard because she's not very... She can't really take many hits, and I don't know what kind of things that these Smeargles are going to have, but if she can knock one out, she's going to get us so much experience, hopefully. And she'll definitely evolve at 16. Alright, maybe... Yeah, let's try it with Quinn, and we'll see how it goes. And then there's that guy who has six Smeargles. Okay, so this will be... But we're going to try and finish it before this thing is before the episode is over. We've got 10 minutes to kill, so let's go ahead and start that and see if we can finish in time. Number two. Oh yeah, there's only four of them, but this should be easy. Assuming that Quinn can survive it. Okay, so, um, let's double team and try and spam this, and try and spam double team. So far so good, that didn't do very much damage at all. And we'll do it again. And one more time. And what the hell, one more time because I'm, I'm here already. Now I'm finally starting to see the strategical values of moves like this. Once you're at a point where you can handle yourself, then they're not really that helpful, but in, to get you to that point, they can be really useful. Oh, this thing is beefy though. Mach Punch does one damage. I like that. How about a charming cry? <laughs> you can't hit me anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, you can do this. You can do this, Quinn. I believe in you. Just a few more good hits. Come on. Oh, thank God, that would have killed you. That's a me that's a steel type, I think. Oh, good job, Quinn. You did it all by yourself. All right. Ugh, I didn't even level you up. Well, I guess there's another one to do, so let's go back to the Pokemon Center, which, where did it go? Oh, it's up here. And we'll heal again. And I think what I'll do is I'll try and get everybody up to level 18 except for people who are going to evolve at 18. So basically I think that means everyone except Maggie and uh, Twiggle. And then we'll do the next episode because I'm pretty sure the gym has everyone at like... Um, 21-ish or 22, so we'll see how it goes. Watch your step! Why? What am I going to step on? A smear go! Okay, cool. So, it worked the last time, so let's double team. That's fine. It's only going to poison me if I change out. Now we know one of your moves. That's also only going to poison, uh, uh, hurt me if I switch out. Oh, so that's why she's saying watch your step, because her Smeargle knows a lot of moves that affect my party. So now it should use spikes at some point. Oh! That's an interesting strategy, because the Dragon Tail would normally force me to switch with another Pokemon, which means that they would be affected by those things, but because Quinn is a fairy type, it's not even affected by the Dragon Tail, so I can tank this entire battle, I think. Yeah, because if it, all it knows how to do is lay those, it's not going to be able to hurt me at all. Unfortunately, it's still a normal type, which means that I can't super effective it 
It knows Dragon Tail, but it's not a Dragon type. Yeah, it's not gonna affect me. Wow, I really lucked out here. Go ahead. It's not gonna hurt me. It doesn't slow me down, it's gonna slow everybody else down. Come on, Quinn, you've got this. It's all you! That was a critical hit. Ugh. Finish it with a confusion! That was a fun battle. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, I was robbed! Oh, come on, Quinn! Alright, let's go into the wild and find her something to kill to get that last little bit, because she was... she was robbed. She had this. Alright, uh, oops! Uh, no, I'm not ready. Hang on. I forgot about that. Gotta be some patches of grass up here somewhere. Somewhere that I can find Pokemon trainers. Like her. This should help. Fusion! Oh, cool. Hurt yourself in confusion! Hurt yourself in confusion! Ugh! Almost had it. Now you're dead if you hurt yourself. Oh no! No! Oh god, that did so much damage! Ah! One lick. Stupid ghost type moves. There. Okay, so now the Flabebe, uh, that is just fairy. So I don't think I have anything that's good against that. So let's just use... let's just use Blaze. And then we'll run back to the town. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to finish the whole, um, museum thing in this episode because we had to make this little pit stop to boost up Quinn by a level she was completely robbed of a level up from that last battle. So then when we come back in the next episode, we'll finish the museum, which includes that guy with six frickin' Smeargles, and then we'll go follow Herschel back to uh, Arkham Tunnel. And in between those episodes, hopefully, or at some point during that episode, I'll be able to get everyone up to 18. Because there's Pokemon up here that I can train with too. So that's all the time I have for this episode of Game On. Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you right back here in the very near future where we will continue to play more Pokemon Gaia version 3.1 and until next time, peace out. And as always, Game On. See ya!